Okay, so this is a monitor that I'm looking at right now, and uh, I've got to fix it because I've got one copy of it right here that is perfectly beautiful and it works just fine. And I got this copy of it for free from the person that sold me this one. Um, they gave me this one for free because uh, it's obviously, I don't know if you can really tell on here, but it's got all these weird colors on it. Um, yeah, so that's what it should look like. And here's what it does look like. So half the screen is covered in this purple red lines or whatever. So, um, but you can fix that by like, I don't want to shock myself because I've got the back of this thing off right now. Yeah, I've taken off the back. But I have been able to get this crap to get off of here by by fiddling around and pressing down here by pressing around down here i've been able to get that to to switch off i don't know if i can get it to do it anymore but of course while i'm on camera it's not gonna work right so i'm gonna see if i can get that to by just fiddling with it and see if i can get it to turn off if i can then that's a starting point for that the fix, okay? So I just got that off. This whole monitor is press fit together. So there's not a single screw that held the back piece of plastic on, which is odd. I guess it's a new design, but it was really easy to get off and uh, hopefully it'll be just as easy to get back on. Anyway, I cannot get this failure mode to turn off so i'm gonna pause it when i figure out what the problem is i will get back to you okay so we've got some sort of action here if you look at the display see that uh, see it changing there it's not 100 percent improving but we are getting some change in that pink color see those lines they're getting bigger and smaller see how it's pretty much gone back to the color but they change, yeah. And how I'm doing that, see there, you can really see it change. How I'm doing that is uh, on the back here. I'm fiddling around with uh, with this, so that display wire. I'm going to unplug it entirely, clean it off a little bit, and put it back on. And hopefully, it's just a bad connection here. So. I don't have any rubbing alcohol I've run out, but hopefully, hopefully I don't have to fix any of those soldered joints down there because that'll be a pain. I don't really have any minute soldering equipment that can really handle that type of stuff. That's that small, but yeah, that, that didn't do it. What happens when I unplug it? Yeah, you get no display when you unplug that completely. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pause you again, and I'm going to fiddle with this a bunch more and see what happens. Oh, look, we're getting all kinds of color on the screen. That's cool. We don't have the error when, uh, <laughs> when there's all kinds of color rotating on the screen. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I cannot figure out what the problem of this... Uh is or what the solution i know what the problem is it's uh, <laughs> the colors are messed up on half the screen i don't know what the solution is um unfortunately when i had this hooked up before i was able to get that to completely disappear just by pressing down on this portion of the screen now that doesn't do anything and i can't get that uh that issue to dissipate at all unfortunately so if i was able to do that then i'd be able to figure out where that uh, loose connection was because it's obviously a dirty connection or a loose connection um i'm gonna have to fiddle around with this and uh, i don't want to have this recording um the whole time so when i figure it out i'll uh, record another video and uh, let you know what happened peace okay so i was able to figure out what the issue was it is to do with this, well, I didn't figure out 100% what the issue is, but it is to do with this cable here. So watch what I can do. When I kind of, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be 
Where's my tool? I'm going to be taking this cable and just pulling on it like this and wiggling it like that. And that solves the problem. So this is what I have to figure out now. Is the issue when I go like that, is it tugging a loose connection that's in here and making the loose connection go away? Or is it messing about with this? With this connection here. So is it messing about with this connection here and causing it to be working? Or is it messing around with a connection on the ribbon cable that's in here? Unfortunately, I believe that it is inside of here. So I'm going to have to t power down the unit. <laughs> Take the screws off of this uh, this covering here. And the reason that I've got to unplug it is because uh, there's a reason that this gate, is, this metal cage is around this thing. One is for uh, for shielding, um, for electromagnetic shielding, um, so that there's no interference on the uh, audiovisual stuff. The other reason is because uh, this is where the high voltage lies. Um, there's probably... I'm not sure how this is backlit, but if it's backlit with a, a lot of LEDs, um, then it could be like running at like 400 volts or something like that um, to have that many, uh, to have a whole bunch of uh, LEDs in series or something. Um, another way that it could be powered is if there's a these really skinny, um, I don't think this is likely, but could have these really skinny uh, um, fluorescent tubes. That's a kind of older way of doing uh, backlighting. Um, if this is organic LED, then it's not backlit at all. That's my understanding. That could be the case too. Um, seeing as I got these second hand, I didn't do too much research on uh, how these are backlit or the technology or anything. I just thought they looked cool. I needed some cool monitors. So uh, they're 200 bucks for both of them. So I figured it was a good deal because I was pretty sure I'd be able to fix this once I got it home. All right, so... And that's what I'm about to do. So, okay. Oh, I found another cable back in here that's similar. I don't think that's the issue. That cable, I think, is for the other side of the screen. So, that would make sense anyways. Um, however, I'm uh, going to have to take this ca cage off and investigate the other end of this cable so, here. Okay, so um, I'm going to pause this and uh, get back to you. It just goes wompy womp and over here it comes. So... Um, I guess I am able to access both ends of that um, from this location with it uh, closed up. So I am going to shield that up again and uh, get back to it. All right, so I am detecting now when I just touch this very lightly, it directly impacts the display. So check this out. Trust me, I'm touching that directly where I said I was touching it. And check it out, it fixes it. So... I'm going to have to figure out how to make that a permanent fix. So let's uh, unplug this, take a look real quick. Um, what do you guys see there? You guys see any damage? Any funny business? It's kind of hard to tell, ain't it? I see some wear, but it seems okay. <laughs> Give the Nintendo blow. I'm just gonna plug it back in. See what uh, unplugging it and plugging it back did, back in did, if anything. Fixed it. All right, that's all it needed. Let's hope that. Let's hope that hangs in. All right, guys. So you saw how easy it is to uh, fix. Um, a potentially damaged uh, display that was given away basically for free. I was charged for the working display $200, and then he, he was like, I've got this one too, this is my last one, and it's broken. Um, he told me that it uh, after five minutes of having the monitor on, the problem disappears. Um, it goes away, comes back, goes away, comes back, that's what he said. Ah! Maybe it's true. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out a better solution to this, actually, because this doesn't seem to be 
hanging in there like I thought it would. Well, it's working now, so anyways. I'm just going to hope that it stays together like that. All right, that's it for now.